everyone's had everyone's had uh, injuries and surgeries but when you go through it you actually appreciate how much you love the sport so much more and about a year ago a year and a half ago i didn't think i was told by four or five surgeons that um i should just get used to kind of life outside of tennis and i remember watching tennis and, and watching my brother's matches and thinking you know this is crazy like how is my, my career gone at 25 years old and yeah. um, i managed to work really hard and, and got another surgery and, and we found a way and i'm back playing and i'm so grateful but um yeah again just to, i think these are moments in in our lives where it teaches us so much and it's like i always knew i loved tennis but in those moments where i couldn't play and do something that i love you you really appreciate how much you you love the sport and how much you want to and like now for instance if i lose a match like i'm disappointed but at the yeah. back of my mind i'm like you know okay like i'm so grateful to be here um yeah. so it's it like yeah. shape you differently like it's a different face uh coming out of the the surgery uh, yeah for sure you see things differently again yeah, yeah. What about uh, what about you? Um, it's been like I think COVID was pretty tough time. Um, like I've been through a lot of different kind of emotions during COVID, and also um, not being able to play for a while. It, you kind of reflect a lot as, as well, which I think was very positive for me. Uh, and I could also spend time with with people that I love that sometimes you, you travel so much you don't get to see them a lot um and i got kind of used to that and there was a moment where i was thinking maybe this is it you know uh i've done i've gave so much uh for tennis uh because obviously i think everyone has a different path but like also since i'm 18 i've been like self-funding myself you know i had few sponsors mm -hmm. And you go through a lot of, of effort, sacrifice. Um, and I, I didn't really always have the chance to travel with, with like a person. Um, I maybe had a team, but I was traveling by myself most of the time. And that takes a lot out of you through the years. You yeah, know? It does. And so when I had that moment of COVID uh, without playing, I, I just had some reflections. Um, but then, yeah, I started playing a little bit again. Uh, it's, of course, I love it. Um, but I kind of had to adjust, you know, like the, f the fire was a little different in the beginning. Also get used to the bubble, to all these kind of, of uh, different things that we had to go through. And it's for everybody, obviously. And I think everyone was dealing with it differently. But yeah, I'm someone that usually is very active. You know, I, I like also to, to go out to eat. Um, I do love to, to read. I do love to watch stuff or do a bunch of different things. But um, being inside for a long while, especially when you are by yourself on tournaments, it kind of gets also lonely. And um, I also felt like okay um i i think i need to speak to to someone in, in in that moment and i've given a lot of like mental health time uh and i think this is the best thing i could ever done uh I, i've done it before but in that moment you need to realize okay and you need to you need to be you are vulnerable but it's something that a lot of players has opened up as well during COVID. And I think this kind of, of strength to being able to open up about things like that is it helps other people. And um, for example, when Osaka was talking about it, I felt, wow, I'm not the only one, you know, because in those moments you feel a little bit like uh, by yourself and you don't yeah. really know uh, who to talk to or if people understand and how to cope with it, you know? And, and um, yeah, it was just the best thing I could do. Just open up, uh, get some help. And you, it's another kind of phase you go through in your career and you learn about yourself, about a lot of things and how to cope differently. And also it was, I'm in a different phase in my career. Like it, I'm not like 23 anymore. So, you know, during COVID, like I'm 31 now. 
So it's not really yeah. the start of my career. So it's also different uh, in which phase you find yourself. Um, but yeah, I think that was very, very interesting, very tough. But now that I've got out of it and things are getting a bit more normal, um, I've learned how to cope. And yeah, I think also at the moment, uh, it was a very tough year for me until now. Uh, I, I didn't really uh, win a lot of matches in singles this year, but on the other hand, I feel like I'm, I'm getting a, a better person. You know, I, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm um, working on, on a lot of different things that actually kind of make me grow. And that's what I'm most proud of. And sometimes it's not always about the results, you know, and, and for example, I think also this is why also now in Roland Garros, when I played, um, how much more I appreciated it, you know, um, of course, it, it, it's my favorite tournament, but being out there and even winning that first match, um, yeah. that was for me a big thing for this year, actually, it's a, it's a little push for the rest of the year. And um, For sure. yeah. so, yeah, I think there was there was a few moments, obviously, and setbacks in that career. I think tennis is like life; it's like a roller coaster a little bit, and uh, you gotta kind of know how to navigate through mm -hmm. your career. And and I think it it just helps also to have the the right support around you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think you're hundred percent right. During COVID. I think a lot of people who didn't think they, they kind of struggled mentally or, or with mental health figured, figured out that they did, you know, and um, you're not the only one. I think a lot of people during that time, I mean, you know, for six, seven months, you're taking your, your sport, your purpose is taken away. It's, it's difficult. And we're active people. We're used to traveling. We're used to being in different countries. And all of a sudden that's taken away. Um, it's, it's, it's difficult. And um, yeah, I think you're right. I think it's, it's great that mental health is is being spoken about more, and um, I think people forget. People just watch on TV or watch us play matches and, and just kind of see us and think we're machines that we can just go week in week out mm -hmm. and performing. And all of a sudden, you lose a match, and someone is like, "Well, why did you lose this match? <laughs> yes. On paper, you're supposed to beat them." But they don't see, you know, if if something happened in your family that week or if you've had a terrible you know, um, traveling experience or your records, have, or, you know, if there's so much more that goes into it that we just have to compartmentalize before going onto the court that, that no one sees. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's great when people open up about actually what's going on in their head during, um, yeah, during the year and during our matches. 